What's up, everybody? Welcome to the B-Boy Online News Podcast. Main battle this month is amazing 10-round survival battle between Russian young guns. B-Boy Bumblebee, the winner of the Youth Olympic Games, and B-Boy North Diamond, the youngest member of the legendary Top 9 crew from Russia. Dynamics, execution and style, you will find everything in this battle. The battle was with 5 judges panel and No Diamond took it with the score 7 to 3 uh, round by round. If you didn't see the battle yet, you definitely should check it out. You can find link in the description below. Next up we have some amazing piece of art by Bangidos. Guess what legendary b-boy is here with his signature freeze. Would definitely love to see more stuff like that. Next up we have a live event. Catch the flavor breaking camp will be this year live from 17th to 20, 22nd of July in Krakow, Poland. You can buy full package for only 409 euro on Catch the Flavor website. Link in the description. A beautiful lineup this year on the on the breaking camp featuring Flea Rock, Victor, Kastet, Negin, Supreme. No Diamond, Pak Pak, and Intact from Rafael Gattac to Ukraine. Next up, 7th volume of Bomb Jam Korea took place. You can find the official footage on Ginger YouTube channel. I'll put down the link also. It was nice to see Noodles and Kill better as gamblers. Congress to the winners, Fusion MC, Lunatic and Leo uh, against Gamblers in the final and Big Yo Yell in Big Yo category. Ginger are uploading battles one by one on their YouTube channel. Nice production with comments uh, from participants and from judges after the battle. Uh, it, a little bit lack of English subtitles there, but definitely the whole picture looks really great to me. World B-Boy Classic China 2021 took place in China. Congrats to the, to the winners, B-Boys Lazy and Kid K. Uh, unfortunately, the organizers of World B-Boy Classic won't do the finals this year in Holland and they moved the event to 2022. Looking forward to be the amazing events and I highly recommend it to everybody to visit. Next up, we have again fucking Olympic news. WDSF, the body responsible for breaking in the Olympics, cancelled its work with Red Bull. Unfortunately, ongoing talks with Red Bull ultimately have not resulted in the finalization of a contract. Red Bull decided not to continue in talks with the WDSF for a global deal, a decision the WDSF regrets but respects, as the official statement says. Said, but what we can do about it, and do we really give a fuck? No. Back in the days, Red Bull BC1 was one of the so-called commercial events and now WDSF is tagged as fucking sport. Nothing changes and now Red Bull BC1 is a true school event somehow. So for the modern days, b-boys and b-girls, it's true school. The WDSF has added a number of leading names in the breaking community to its breaking division which is responsible for the vision, direction and overall organization of the Olympic project. They include Aslan from Predator Crew Russia, the head of Predator Crew by the way, the leader, Bojin, the Taipei Vivo City organizer and definitely one of the opinion leaders of the Asian breaking scene. Max from Portugal, the leader of Momentum Crew. Moy, the leader of Javi Koro and Monster B-Boys out of the United States of America. And the last but not least, B-Boy Skim from Ginger Crew South Korea. B-Boy Max from Portugal, the leader of Momentum Crew, told that the need for people within the breaking community to be solidly represented in the Olympic project, from qualifiers all the way through to Paris 2024, is absolutely essential. I am stoked to get started and to work with a great team of breakers that the WDSF is assembling. Together, we will make sure that all WDSF breaking events will be world-class, authentic and something everyone will want to be a part of. Hope that it will be true. 
Anyway, it is nice that WDSF consult with the representative of breaking scenes and don't just do it as they see it is supposed to be done. Next up we have European Championship in Sochi. This year with all the ice on in the booth At the gate outside when they pull up they give me loose Yeah, jump out boys, that's Nike boys hop in our coach This shit way too big when we pull up, give me the loop Give me the loop Was off the Remy, had a back post Had to hit my whole town, the the news Two four hour lockdown, made no moves Now it's 4 a.m. and I'm back up popping with the crew I just landed in, chase me missus, pop like Jamba Dudes Different color chains, see my jewelry really selling fruits And they joking, man, know the crackers wish it was a news the WDSF European Breaking Championship will take place in Sochi, Russia with total amazing prize money of fucking $57,000 Battles will be in three categories Big Girls 1 on 1, B Boys 1 on 1, and Crew 5 on 5. There are 50 European countries that are supposed to bring their participants. Each can nominate up to two B Boys, two B Girls, and one crew. As the official says, uh, interested B Boys and B Girls are encouraged to contact their national bodies of WDSF. There will be amazing judging panel. Judges will be Katsu from Japan, Focus from Finland, Kim from South Korea. Admir from Belgium and Jan from Russia with Soul DJ Smirnov and uh, DJ Nobunaga on the wheels of steel and uh, MC Scream and MC Anjad on the mics Pretty sure it will be fire with lack of live events this year At the same time Korean breaking scene fight for their rights to represent themselves without getting under the Korean Dance Sport Federation Contemplate the correct development of the Korean breaking culture and we will speak up until we find a solution. The Korean Breaking Association, where dancers are the main body, asks for the authority or as an official member organization to Korean Sport and Olympic Committee and strongly hopes that we will be able to protect our rights. Hong Tan posted this shit in his official Instagram account. Anyway, good luck for the guys in this tough fight against big corporations and big governmental organizations. Let's move on to something less serious. Amazing breaking quiz with Smurf was published. <laughs> Robin is so serious about biting that A. He can do 70 bite signs in one battle. B. He can beat up his opponent to make him understand his point. C, he left his wife because she took a recipe from a cookbook. Or D, he retired from breaking after seeing the origins of breaking. <laughs> oh man, that, that is the wrong answer. The right answer is he could do 70 bite signs yeah. in one battle. <laughs> totally I'm gonna show you right now. Let's play the video. Two. Look at how many bite signs, a hundred. <laughs> Amazing shit to have fun. BC1 ciphers are going down around the whole world. We congrats the winners. First of all is B-Boy Quake who won the BC1 Taiwan. Amazing B-Boy with fresh stuff, you definitely should check it out. Here is the small recap of his moves. Quite an old school guy, B-Boy Benny, took the South African cypher. Actually, actually I remember Benny uh, representing him, his, his region in 2007 Red Bull BC1 World Finals in battle against uh, B-Boy Twix from Massive Monkey. You definitely should refresh your memory. Nice to see him competing with uh, new and young generation. Also, congratulations to the winners of Cypher Poland. These are B-Boy Zavisha and Big Girl Emilka. And Italian Cypher winners, B-Boy Pasta from Bandidos Crew and Big Girl Auntie. And we have more BC1 events to come. First of all, Cypher Warsaw will take place on 15th of May. 
Uh, we have Cypher Austria on 22nd of May, Cypher Belgium on 22nd of May as well, and Cypher France in the last weekend of May. And on 13th of June we have Cypher Russia in Moscow. For me it's definitely one of the toughest Cypher in the world. Stay tuned for the live streams of the Cyphers on Red Bull BC1 official YouTube channel. Also, if you are not participating on the Cyphers, you can participate on another Red Bull BC1 e-battle. This year, Red Bull BC1 uh, e-battle returns to crown one b-boy and one b-girl. They also have super dope prizes. First of all, of course, it is a spot in the Red Bull BC1 last chance Cypher, a couple days before the World Finals. But there is also a second prize. These are amazing turntables by Technics and it is limited edition uh, with Red Bull BC1. Submit your one minute breaking video at www.redbullbc1.com or www.redbull.com slash ebattle. Applications are open till May 14th, so you better hurry, you have only fucking one day. Sorry for the last notice. And for what you need this turntable? Of course, you need it to get done with the DJ Scream and his DJ School. DJ Scream is happy to announce uh, the start of the international group in his online DJ course called The Message of DJ. During the course, you will. Start on 30th of April and we wish you to participate in this class and we wish DJ Scream to have a lot of good students. All info in the description and also all info in uh, Scream's uh, Instagram account. This was it and we'll see you next week. Peace.